In this video, we're going to talk about the Omega SW32. That part number is OME-SW32. This is a three input, two output matrix switcher for commercial solutions. And by matrix switch, what we mean is this has two outputs. We can go to two displays and matrix means we can show two different sources live at the same time. Uh, you can also show the same source at the same time. Uh, but you can have it in matrix mode as well, which is a popular feature for a product like this. At this price point, uh, this is really ideal for conference rooms, for classrooms, for lecture rooms, for video conference solutions, even in applications where you have an existing video conference solution, maybe an older 1080p solution, but you want to add 4K capability to the room. Add the OME SW32. This device will even scale down to 1080p to work with the existing co codec that is there inside the room. Uh, this product is also great into larger distribution systems where you might be using something like our OmniStream networked AV solution. This can feed into or takes feeds from uh, that system as well. So very versatile product, uh, very uh, heavily feature-packed uh, feature for the price point. So let's take a look at some of the uh, features on this box and then we'll turn around and plug it in. On the front side of this here, uh, you'll see there's an indicator for your power. There's a USB for firmware update and you have control of your output from right here. Uh, output number one, output number two, and this is a press button switch and allows you to uh, specify which input is going out of that output to the display. So uh, one of three choices for output number one, one of three choices for output number two, uh, and uh, beside that your display control button. Around on the back side here, here we have the inputs. Input number one is a USB-C input. Um, when connected via USB-C, this device will also provide power back to the laptop, uh, allowing the presenter, uh, who's maybe working off of a battery, to keep their laptop uh, charged while presenting. Now this really won't add additional power to the laptop, but it'll keep it from losing power during the presentation. Um, beside that now, input number two is an HDMI port, and input number three is an HDMI port. Then uh, further down, we have our two outputs. These are both HDMI outputs, and all of these are HDMI 2.0 outputs, meaning they have 18 gigabit of bandwidth pass-through. That's why we do 4K on this device. Then uh, first uh, Phoenix port here is the audio output, and this uh, device will de-embed audio. Here, if you're running audio out, you'll want to take it to an amplifier. I recommend using the Alona Gain 60 series amplifier and connect a pair of uh, speakers to that. And then beside that is the connector for our RS-232 control. Uh, then over here we see a LAN connector, that's the black RG45. That means this product will connect to the network, it will get an IP address and will become discoverable with the AMS Alona Management software and can be managed through that software over the network. And then beside that is the power port for this device. So let's go ahead and connect this up. For simple demonstration purpose, this is pretty easy to set up here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take my wall plug and connect it into the power block for the OME uh, SW32. And uh, then I'm going to take the power plug, which is a pin connector. I'm going to connect that into the uh, connector on the back of the 32. Now this has little prongs there to show you which way is up. It only fits in one way. So you'll want to line that uh, pin up and connect that in by pressing it in. When you're done and want to unplug it, uh, this piece slides back to release and then you can disconnect it. So it's a two-part disconnect, slide and then pull off. Now, uh, now that we've got the power connected, let's go ahead and connect up our output to the display. So as my HDMI output, I'm going to use output number one. That runs to my display. And I'll take my source, which is the NVIDIA Media Player. We'll run this into the first HDMI input, which is input number two. And as soon as that's connected, we see the video playing out there on the screen. And on the front of the box, you can see on input number one, source number two light is lit up. Um, if I wanted to plug in additional sources from here, I could do that on the back of the box and then press this uh, output button and toggle now between those additional sources. All right, that's the Omega OME-SW32 3x2 matrix switch 
which is ideal for commercial applications where we've got dual screens, could be a classroom, uh, could be a conference room, could be a video conference solution, could be mixed with an Omnistream system. To learn more about this product, you can check us out on, at loaner.com, look for the OME32, uh, or watch the additional videos we have inside the LMS or on our YouTube channel. If you have questions about this product, reach out to the training team via email and you can find us at training at loaner.com.